Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And one of the more interesting things about the evolution of the Godot game engine is how much Godot is actually being used to create non-gaming software. A lot of times gaming adjacent, so tools, etc. But it's being used to create all kinds of things. And actually, the funniest thing about it is Godot, the editor itself, is written using Godot. So Godot has really robust UI tools, internationalization, that kind of stuff. So it makes for creating applications a pretty sweet and straightforward process. And some of the things I've talked about in the past include program like Material Maker. I just did a video about uh, like the top free game dev tools out there and Material Maker always makes my list because I'm a giant fanboy of Material Maker. If you've never checked it out, go and do so. So this is kind of like uh, an open source and free cross-platform substance designer alternative. And if you take a look at the user interface, you can like, yeah, yeah, that's definitely Godot based. Uh, so you can see the influence on that one. One where it's a little bit less obvious what was used to make it is Pixelorama. Another free tool, this one is like a 2D graphic Swiss Army tool. Now, I'm not going to get into these in any depth because, quite frankly, I just covered these in that uh, rundown I did the other day. Another one I did not cover, and I completely forget how to say this, Bosca Seol. I, I, know, I know that's wrong, but uh, it is based on uh, a Terry Kavanaugh's original program. I think it was written in Flash. It has now been rewritten using the Godot game engine, uh, and this is like a, a mod tracker, a great easy way to make music. Again, another application written using Godot, and that's really just kind of scratching the surface of options that are out there. In uh, February 2024, I did a breakdown of various programs, again, there is me being a cheerleader for these two programs. On top of that, you've got the Godot editor, RPG in a box, Cozy Blanket, which is a new cross-platform uh, texturing application or UV mapping application, Uniform, Pixel Over, Mirror, which actually I don't know if that's using Godot anymore, Arrow, uh, Union Bytes Painter, God SVG, and so on. So there are a number of very cool programs that were created using the Godot game engine. And the funny thing is now we're starting to see this branch over to the world of commercial projects. So these are a lot of these are like open source projects. Now some of these are for sale, for example, RPG in a box, cozy blanket, pixel over, those are all commercial projects, for example. Uh, but now we're starting to see some bigger names jump into the space. Now one of the biggest ones has to be gotcha gotcha games. Now these are the guys that make RPG maker or pixel game maker. Well, their next maker, their next game maker type program is action game maker. And this is actually being written using the Godot game engine. So this is uh, a game engine built on top of the Godot game engine, but with more of a pixel game maker approach and a visual flow graph style uh, approach to things. Um, and it's actually being written with Godot. Now, they actually tried making RPG Maker Unite, which was a version of RPG Maker that ran inside of Unity, and that did not work at all. So let's see how Action Game Maker turns out here. Uh, but it is an interesting project and definitely one I have my eyes on. So it's uh, basically the spiritual successor for Pixel Game Maker MV, but it's going to inherit all the Godotiness, which is, again, an interesting project, a commercial project built on top of the Godot game engine. Well, I'm talking about all of that today because we now have another commercial project being built on top of the Godot game engine, and that one is coming from the folks at Toon Boom. Now, Toon Boom make uh, a variety of uh, applications so uh, for doing 2D art. And the most famous would be Harmony. Uh, this is a drawing and um, animation package. They've got Storyboard Pro as well. Uh, they've got courses, etc. here. But in terms of their products, the big ones are definitely Harmony. And you're going to notice Harmony has two different setups. There's Harmony for doing 2D workflow uh, animations. And then you've got the gaming-focused version of it for creating game sprites and animations and that kind of thing. Well, they are taking that one step further. I do not know exactly how this is going to work out as a product, but now we have Jump Beta coming to you. So a brand new end-to-end -end 2D gaming development solution brought to you by Toon Boom Animation. So the way I understand this, they are going to take the technology of Toon Boom, most likely uh, Harmony Gaming here, uh, let's skip that out. Uh, so the creation tools that you've got here, and then they're going to mix it with a game engine. And I'm curious if you can guess which game engine they might actually use. Well, obviously it's Godot. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. So uh, they have a beta going on right now. I did not sign up for the beta to make this video because quite frankly, the beta is also locked behind an NDA. 
So if I sign an NDA, I probably won't make a bill, be able to make a video about this. So I figured I'd make the video first, and then maybe join and get on and then, you know, track it over time and eventually do coverage of it when the NDA permits. But I have not signed said NDA, so I cannot give you any more information than what I have found publicly facing. And by the way, a special thanks to users on the uh, Game From Scratch Discord server for bringing this one to my attention. If you have not already joined the Game From Scratch Discord server, it is a lovely place for game engine agnostic game development tasks and talking and it's just a great community so the link is down below if you want to join up to the discord server it's a wonderful place so welcome to jump a brand new end-to-end -end 2d game and art development solution brought to you by toon boom animations with a rich 2d drawing and animation legacy spanning 30 years toon boom is expanding into the gaming industry bringing its powerful innovative uh, and intuitive tools to jump. So key features are the dynamic launcher, effortless management of game assets and project files, asset creation, so craft and animate your game character and backgrounds with ease. And then here is the key new part about jump, game engine integration, full integration of the Godot engine to power your creations, iteration and game development process. So if you're interested in getting a hold of it, um, go to their Discord server, um, sign the NDA, and then you can explore the beta builds that are available. Again, I wanted to do this video before I signed any NDA because, quite frankly, NDAs really limit what I can actually say. Now, I've signed all kinds of NDAs as running this channel, but in this case, I can cover this news with public-facing information and we'll be good to go. And on top of that, I also found they have this um, documentation online, which is kind of nice. Uh, so you see it's actually pretty dated. So this is going back to, uh, what was that? Uh, the 5th of August, or is that uh, the 8th of May? Depends on your, your calendar format here is. But this is from last year, and you can get a bit of an overview. Is a game asset management and game development application jump integrates with the Godot game engine for game programming. It integrates with asset editor for game uh, animation and art creation and integrates with game storyboard for game storyboard creation. Asset editor is a 2D animation software used to draw and animate video game assets such as characters, enemies, and backgrounds. These assets can be exported for use in your game engine when you are complete. Uh, you may provide, you may access this application directly from the jump launcher application by double clicking the asset in the project details. Uh, jump online help will get you familiarized with all the stuff, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then we have some more details here. The launcher application houses several templates that you may build from as a starting point when developing your game in Godot. Each asset in the template, such as characters, backgrounds, and sprites, you may make modifications to the art and character animations by opening it, uh, its asset editor project from the launcher interface. So they're uh, integrating in the Godot game engine here. So Jump integrates with Godot as a game development tool that you may use to program your game using your uh, created assets, art, and animations. For information on the Godot user interface, see the Godot integrated game engine. For full documentation, head on over to Godot. So this is going to bring us back to here and you can see how it all works together. So you have literally integrated inside of a version of Godot. So project panel is the bottom right hand dock by default. So that you can see the project down there. You've got a Toon Boom asset viewer. So it provides means to view and configure the assets to use. It provides access to animations as well as skins. I'm going to assume that there's also going to be a lot of um, you know, scripting uh, integration here. So you've got various different other pieces of documentation here. So for bringing in asset, how they work together and so on. So basically what they are doing is they are taking their Toon Boom technology and integrating it into Godot with skinning and animation support. So you can have your asset creation and your game creation all in the same spot. So if you are using uh, Toon Boom as part of your workflow, this is basically adding the Godot game engine as part of Toon Boom. And you see here again, this is just straight up, um, this is an extended version of Godot. So you can see it's been implemented using GD script even to do so. Um, and yeah, that is what I know about it. Again, I can only wean this from the publicly available documentation that's out there. I will link to this if you want to go ahead and jump through it. There's actually a pretty broad amount of information. So if you want to learn more exactly about how Jump works, it's a uh, it's pretty well documented here in terms of the idea that you've got. So again, you want to learn about the storyboard aspect. You can learn right here, see how that works, see how those pieces work together and how they will slot into the new game engine technology that is being implemented in Jump. 
So uh, if you are interested in learning more, sadly, you are going to have to go down a DNA or a DNA, an NDA rabbit hole to get access to the beta build. Now, if you do go ahead and do that, there is also this. So there is a um, Toon Boom Spring Game Jam with prizes. This is starting in, I'm not sure when I'm going to publish this video, probably on Sunday. So you take two days off that. I'm recording this on a Friday. So you've got just shy of two weeks before this starts, regardless to when I send this video out. And you got a bit of an overview of what this is all about. So again, Jump is a Toon Boom's in-game, in-beta game creation tool combining existing industry standard drawing and animation software with the Godot game engine to provide a full ecosystem for development of high quality 2D interactive experiences. Uh, and they're going to have basically this whole thing. The theme is not um, announced as of yet. Uh, the prizes are this, basically a swag bag full of stuff. And the rules are available down here. So no AI assets, no not safe for work content, uh, and a few other limitations there as well. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Jump. Uh, so there is this huge swath of game development technology being built on top of the Godot game engine. But it's cool to see that we got these commercial projects. Toon Boom. Pretty big company making some pretty popular tools, and they've been around for quite a while. And then Gotcha Gotcha Games, you've probably heard of RPG Maker at this point in time. So uh, some pretty serious software being built on top of and integrating with the Godot game engine. And I'm curious, what do you think? Have you used Toon Boom stuff in the past, and are you excited to see Godot integrated in it? Or are you using one of the, the competitors that are out there? There's also Open Tunes and other tools like in this space that you might be interested in. And you know, Adobe has some Animate and other tools tools like that. So there's a lot of tools in the 2D animation space. But Toon Boom has definitely been one of the big ones in the pro space for quite a while. So it's interesting to see them integrating a game engine like this. So let me know what you think of this announcement. Uh, are you going to join the, uh, the beta or the NDA and all that? Again, let me know in comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.